Hey, what is up guys welcome to lavish gaming um, today we're gonna be redoing a tutorial an updated tutorial for how to install spigot for minecraft 1.8 on the latest version of the mac operating system so first thing we're gonna want to do is go to this page actually no actually yeah open this page for reference basically it's a full tutorial on how to install it but I'll show you guys visually so you'll get a better understanding. So I'll put this in the description, just click on that and just have it open and kind of read along with me as we go through it so you understand. So open up terminal and type in um, java-version just like that and it should come up with either a 1.7 or a 1.8. If, if it does not come up with 1.7 or 1.8 then you need to install a newer version of Java. Um, you're gonna have to do that on your, or figure out a way to do that yourself. I'm not gonna show you that in this video. But if you have 1.7 and you're good, you can continue on to the next thing. Next thing you need to make sure you have is called git. So you can type git dash dash version and press enter, and that will return a version if you have git installed. If git is not installed, it'll say um, git is not recognized as a bash command or something along those lines. In that case, on this page you'll see the header installing git and then there's a download link to git and then once you're on this page you just click Mac OS X and it's just a normal download, just download that and install it and then when you run that you should get a version. So now that we have our requirements, we can go on to installing build tools. So what I'm going to do is um, do this all in terminal pretty much. It's going to be all in terminal. So you're going to want to type the command mkdir, which stands for make directory. And I'm going to make the directory on my desktop. And let's call it build tools. So I type in this command right here, make directory. This is basically saying we're going to make a directory on the desktop called build tools. And then space, I'm going to type a two and symbols. And then um, cd and then the exact path that we typed before so cd build tools and press enter and that will if we switch over to our desktop you can see we now have a folder over here called build tools all right so that's good and also with that and we also the cd command changes the directory the working directory so as you can see here it has the name of my mac and then build tools is the current directory directory we are in. So now once we're in here we can download build tools. Um, so I'm literally just going to copy this link right here or this command actually. It is curl and then the link to buildtools.jar and then this dash o just names it buildtools.jar. So if we paste that in and press enter it will begin downloading build tools. Uh, I'm going to, oh wow, that was quick. I was going to cut the video, but we don't need to. So if we type ls, this shows what's in our current directory and we will see buildtools.jar. So now all you have to do is run buildtools.jar. I'm gonna use Java for this, to, so, excuse me, so type Java space dash jar and the name of the jar, so build, and you can just press tab and it will autocomplete it, and press enter. And this will start installing build tools for you. There's honestly nothing other than that. Um, I guess if I run into anything, I will show you what's going on, and I will actually go all the way through and like show you where the spigot jar file is and how to run the server and start it up. So this is basically just going to do its thing. I'm going to skip forward to when it is done. 
All right, and I'm back. Um, and as you can see from right here, it says success, everything compiled successfully. And it gives us the path to the jar files. In my case, it is users slash build tools. Oh, it's just in the, okay. All right, actually, um, we're gonna minimize terminal for a little bit and hide Chrome. And let's focus on this folder, the build tools folder. So if we open this, there is spigot right there. Uh, we don't need to worry about craft bucket, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think we just need this for now. Let's jump over to the installation page here. Um, may need to have spigot and I'm just going to put them both in the same thing. Let's make a new folder. I'll call this my awesome, if I can spell, server. And we'll drag spigot and craft bucket into that folder. And let's open it. Uh, we're actually going to go back to terminal for this. Type CD to change our directory, and then I'm just going to drag this little folder icon here and press enter. And now you can see we have changed the directory to my awesome server. And if we type ls, we see the two jar files. So, what we want to do now is create a server launch command or startup script, I guess. So, we're going to use nano, which is a text editor in terminal. So, type nano. And then I'm going to call my script start and then ends in dot command. Press enter and it opens this. And I'm just going to copy what's in here and paste it. Okay, um, if you, here, let's open a new window. If you type in Java dash version, if it's 1.7, then you're good here. If it says 1.8, you need to delete this thing that says max permgen size. Just the whole portion here. Just take all of that out because it is not supported in Java 1.8. So this is fine. Um, we need to rename this dash 1.8. Make sure the this right here matches the spigot that's in our folder and to go over these if you would like to change the amount of ram your server launches with the xms is the minimum amount so this will launch with a mim minimal amount of ram of 512 megabytes which is half a gigabyte and the maximum amount of ram allowed is 1024 megabytes or two gigabytes. So I could change this for example to 2048 with a big capital M after it and that would be two gigabytes. So now we just want to hit control X and it'll ask if we would like to save our changes and then press Y on the keyboard that'll save and then ask for a file name just press enter and boom and if we check there is start.command but we are not done. We need to type one more command, I believe, or maybe a few more. Nah, one more. We need to type chmod space a plus x space, and then we want to drag the start.command file we made into the terminal window, and that will complete the path. Then press enter, and you should be good. Now we can test this out. Let's double click start.command. Now we got our servers launching. And as you should notice here, if it, there we go, okay. The server did not finish launching. It says fail to load eula.txt. So what we need to do is open this text file here, eula.txt, and we need to change false to true. This basically means you are agreeing to Mojang's end users license agreement. I think that's what it is. Uh, found at that link. So once that saves to true, or once we set that to true, we can save and relaunch the server. 
and once again after it loads the libraries the server should completely start now and we should have our plugins folder and it should generate a map check our folder here we go we have we have logs now we generated all the necessary files there's a plugins folder and now we are preparing the world so once this is done almost done okay now we have done we can just type stop press enter and wait for it to completely finish okay once this process is complete then we can close and at this point you would add plugins um, change your server dot properties all that stuff you should know how to do if you don't just google it it's like it's extremely simple and pretty self-explanatory so that concludes this video if you guys have any questions whatsoever um, just leave a comment or send me a message on YouTube I think leaving a comment would be better so do that uh, if the video helped you make sure you like the video because that that really actually helps it legitimately helps and also subscribe and check out our other videos and see you guys later